to this impromptu three lap show stream. I'm Dan Platt. No moniker or nickname. I don't really give a fuck. Um, or I'm just not cool enough to have a nickname or to make one up or something. I mean, I was called Plaid Boy once. Anyway, um, I want to give a shout out for Katie for the follow. Um, she followed while I wasn't looking. Uh, hopefully this just uh, pops up and she and other, a few other followers see this. Um, for reference, this is, um, I do a podcast called The Three Left Show. I do it on a community radio station. So podcasts, it's public radio. And now I, I do a little bit of this, mostly in spare time with my co-host who streams. We basically do something on the weekly. And I also want to do something on the weekly. So instead of spending two hours mulling about this, I, I made like a Facebook post about it. It's just random, but it, it can get into kind of housing issues and strategies. So like I, on the urbanist, new urbanist memes for transit oriented teams. Um, so I'm not a teen, but I am transit oriented um, and, uh, and, and an urbanist, but not a new urbanist because actually architectural parlance uh, new urbanism is actually kind of old hat, uh, new neoliberal development type that was developed in the 80s. So actually, we should probably go on and have a new urbanism um, because uh, there's a lot of old shit going on here. With um... So basically, I, I kind of stepped in it, um, as I guess uh, white nerdy guys like me tend to do, washing it up. But, um, but I have... I have reasons, but may, do I really? It was really just a random comment, you know, the kind of random comment, but I got dogpiled. And of course, it's always very frustrating when. Fix that. That camera centered. Um, you know, I post and I post and I post, and I'll be lucky if I get a few comments or likes on, on the Facebook episodes of my podcast. Now, of course, I do interact with people. And I ask them, have you been listening to my podcast? And they say, yes. And I ask, it's the last episode. I almost have to grill them because no one interacts with me. No, there's no engagement. Without engagement, there's no spread. So, and, and it's and I'm basically a terrible marketing person. I don't like it. Uh, I like outreaching, but I don't like jamming stuff in people's face. But anyway, so then, of course, it feels even worse than when I comment on something and then I get tons of uh, inform uh, attention, you know, like, like I do the troll thing, I guess. Yeah, like by accident and and then the comments get disabled when by the time i get the uh what do you call it the um get the notification and so i'm seeing like people calling me a bootlicker and and all this stuff so anyway here, here's the post hello fervent fellow urbanists rant time and i need a call for advice I've been dealing with a leak in a room for about 20 days. I immediately contacted my landlord as soon as it started, and I've been taking pictures every time it starts leaking, right? Documentation. Good. About two weeks ago, my landlord brought someone, in quotes, I guess, to repair the roof, uh, likely a licensed roofer, or maybe it's in quotes because it was a friend of his and it wasn't a licensed roofer. But anyway, she couldn't see because they uh, did, and what they did because... Oh, she was out uh, teaching. She's a teacher, I guess. The only reason why it stopped leaking was because it stopped snowing, right? Uh, snow on roof. If it's warm enough, snow melts, and then it's water, and thus it can leak in. The only reason it, um, they're in Maryland, it's the middle of February, it's going to snow all freaking month. The landlord said, so landlord, not owner, but landlord, said that he can't repair the roof in my room until, uh, until the outside roof is repaired. Well, yes, that is what you do. There's no sense in fixing the inside unless the roof is repaired and the leak, the source of the leak is gone, right? Um, because she seems more concerned with the the ceiling and the look of the ceiling. This is where, like, there's a blending of tenants' rights and being outraged at landlord incompetency, which could be present here with being a whiny, bratty baby. Um, I didn't call the poster this, but there's a little bit of like, 
as someone who has lived in a house with uh, in old buildings like this, the one I'm in, when we get a leak, a minor pipe leak, it will almost always result in part of the ceiling collapsing. So I'm experienced in having water leaks, assessing how bad they are, and understanding that it may take a few days to get to the bottom of where the leak's coming from. And if it's the roof, it's going to be more of a challenge because you have to determine what part of the roof. You have to get into the midsection, if you even can get into the midsection. A well-designed house will have ways of assessing where a leak in a roof is, but uh, a lot of construction doesn't. So I'm, as, as, as someone with an architecture background and a little bit of knowledge here, I'm empathetic to, you know, the logistics involved. Like, okay, so let me finish this. They're in Baltimore, blah, blah, blah. Uh, when I moved, he was such an asshole about his paying rent. Okay, asshole landlord. Okay, so I was a little tone deaf in, well, it seems like he's trying to fix it, right? Oh, but this is an asshole landlord. He wants the rent all the time. Um, true. Okay. No qualms with that. Um, bash the landlord. I'm at night. We'll go with that. Uh, in the meantime, the roof is still leaking. About a week ago, he came again to repair what's left of the roof. Uh, then he sent me a text saying he had to leave because it was too windy to keep repairing it. Right? It was dangerous to stay on the roof. I guess he didn't have the right equipment. Strapped himself in. Can't do it. Unprepared. Incompetent landlord. I get it. Uh, I agree. Kill the landlord. It's leaking again today, and I'm tired of dealing with this crap. When I moved, he was such an asshole, and I've been asking nicely to get this done. Uh, but he, he's asking me to be understanding of the circumstances. Like, what in the actual fuck? So, here are the pictures of the leak. Now, maybe I'm... I don't know what would the opposite of spoil be, but like I've dealt with a lot of problems with houses and, and their maintenance. And this does not seem like a big deal to me. This is a minor inconvenience. The amount of water coming in, and she's just like, it's still leaking. You know, and, and like there's pieces of advice like, why don't you get your books out of the drip zone? You know, because if it gets bigger, you know, that's the size. I mean, usually the size of the stain will uh, tell you where the water is coming in, and obviously it's coming down here. Um, this is just the paint stripping off, so you could just rip that off. Um, it, it's, it basically just, it just seems to be a little drip leak. Um, which is good, because if it's more, you're going to have uh, a bad day real soon. If it's a drip leak, it will take weeks in order for major damage to occur. But depending on the construction, leaks like that don't actually cause any long-term damage to the wood or because uh, they're, you know, treated. And depending on the materials inside the roof for the ceiling, you're not going to have mold problems unless there's no aeration in the house. So there's all of these, these context. There's more to know about this stuff. And I just, I'm not saying this person's being a brat, right? Asshole landlord who isn't fixing it properly quickly. But it also feels really entitled that nothing should ever go wrong. And when something goes wrong, it has to be fixed right away. Right? Because they're paying a lot. I don't know what the rent is. It's Baltimore. I thought about rents in Baltimore were low. But maybe they're really high where she is. I don't know. He doesn't give all that info. He doesn't need to give all that info. So, any advice is deeply. I'm concerned that the roof won't take the water weight. And it will do, and it will just break. Okay, so if there's a little drip leak like this... The roof is taking the water. It is just that the water is seeping in somewhere. Finding where is would be challenging. I would think it's challenging. You need a professional roofer. Who knows what they're doing? Maybe this, this landlord doesn't. Um, but it's like, I don't... It's not magic. Um, so, you know, can I contact a property inspector? What would the next steps be? 
I sent him another text today saying that these are unacceptable living conditions for the amount of rent that I'm paying to live there. Okay, amount of rent. But doesn't give the number, which isn't really good for the whole tenant's rights. Fuck the landlords. We need to be sharing how much we're paying. It's like comparing your uh, pay. You know, we need to know what these amounts are. But I also feel that, you know, it's like, and, th and this is kind of a very bourgeois thing. It's like, if you're paying a lot, it means that the service needs to be incredibly good. Like you're at a restaurant, right? But if we're going to act as socialists or lefties or just sensible people, whatever that means, that, like, you need to give people some slack, right? And if it is a matter of these are being unacceptable, then fine, rent strike. Maybe that there's likely an eviction memorandum, simply de facto rent strike. Withhold rent until it's fixed. It's within a tenant's rights to probably do this. This is probably the kind of advice she was looking for, and I believe from the comment section she got it. Or I assume she would get some advice. But still, I don't consider this unacceptable. It's a drip leak. And she seems to have it under control here in, in, in the, with this pan here. I've dealt with worse. I've been in worse. I was in a mold, arid, infested apartment for months. Mostly of my own doing. Because I didn't want to switch rooms because I had a whole suite to myself. Different story. It was down in Manhattan. Um, so anyway, I put landlord bashing aside. This means, maybe it's bad communication here, but it means I will bash landlords along with you. Right? Like, we're all bashing the landlord. Yes, bash the landlord. But let's put that aside. You are overreacting. Okay, I should have, maybe, maybe I could have phrased it as, like, maybe you're overreacting. But I'm looking at that leak stain and how I've lived in both buildings, my own fucking home, with my dad, a small petite landlord of two buildings. Um, and we live with, that, with a leak in our roof for years. Because we had to save up the money to get the whole roof retard. Because roofs are fickle beasts. It's not just trading out a few uh, shingles. I don't know what you think roof repair is. You know, if there's a rip in the membrane on the roof and the waterproofing, like, you may have to replace the whole thing. It's, and I basically say, it's not like a plumbing leak. You can't just stick a little bit of, t you know, uh, the miracle tape and the, and the leak is gone. And I said, depending on the kind of roof, which you didn't describe, it likely would need to wait until spring. You know, if you have to retar the roof, you're not going to do it in winter. I would move everything under. So, and then I give the practical advice of, I would move everything under it, out from there, if, or whatever drywall does come down. Ask for a tarp to catch it. So... Someone else repeats that the unit is literally uninhabitable under these circumstances. I, I, that's the overreaction, by the way, saying it's uninhabitable. This is not fucking uninhabitable, okay? If this was a giant puddle on the floor and uh, the entire half of the, of the ceiling had fucking caved in, then I would maybe agree. Um, but uninhabitable? No. If the roof came in, but the worst that's going to happen is the ceiling. The ceiling is not the same as the roof. It's both a physical risk and a health hazard. Okay. That's not fucking black mold. That's just a water stain. Just being accurate. So leave it to a white dude in a thinker's pose, you know, because my, you know, it's a, it's a drawn one. I got an anime convention of me doing this. Leave it to a white dude in a thinker's pose, the profile pic, to give you a condescending response. I didn't think I was being, well, I said you were overreacting, condescending, yeah. Well, they are ranting, and they're ranting on a new, uh, new urbanist meme page, which I, I guess is just, uh, I guess, where you can just go nuts and not be, you know, an adult about things. Somebody gives me the, there's a bunch of these, let's see, 15 more replies. Let's go through it. So I got 39 little emoji responses. Half mad. Let's see how many are mad versus laughing at me. They're laughing at me. See, how's the stream going? Fine. Um, 